Tonight has been made even more special, even more wonderful by uh, our phenomenal host who we will introduce in just a few moments, uh, Mr. David Furnish, who's come all the way here, a local hometown boy who's come back to, uh, to honor us with his presence and uh, boy, I'm, I'm just so thrilled I have the chance to spend some time with him. Uh, please join me in welcoming the fearless, the classy, the stylish, the inimitable Mr. Michael King, the chair of Fashion Cares 2008. God, you guys are beautiful. What a beautiful room. Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the 22nd Annual Fashion Cares and our first ever Halloween Spectacle. Fashion Cares presents Fashion Scares. Tonight's celebration takes a scene from the master of suspense and puts the fashion back in Fashion Cares. It's Hope Couture meets Hitchcock, and because of you and the generosity of our title sponsors, Mac, Viva Glam, a round of applause, please. Bank of Montreal, a huge supporter. one of the most successful and important fundraisers for the Act of for the Ace Committee of Toronto. This year is also very special for me and for all of you as you will bear witness tonight because of Mr. Philip Ng. Can I just say it's really, really nice to be home. city that I love, it's a city that I grew up in, and a city that taught me so much. Uh, to have the opportunity to come back here to support a cause that I've dedicated my life uh, to fighting against, and to help the fight against HIV AIDS in Toronto is a huge honor, and I can't tell you how much this means to me. Torontonians have always had a reputation for their charitable hearts, along with their hearty love of style and fashion. And tonight I want to thank all of you because you've chosen to put your hearts in the right place. There is no disease that is a bigger threat to the welfare of our planet than HIV AIDS. As a director of the Elton John AIDS Foundation, I've traveled the world and see the devastating effects of this disease. Thank you. Just stop and think. Currently, 33 million people around the world are living with this disease right now. It's a disease that doesn't know any boundaries. Currently, almost 50% of new infections are women. So everybody is vulnerable, everybody is capable of contracting this disease.